In part 2 of AVR at Mega32 Timers, we are going to look at block diagram of timer 0. First of all, let us understand terminology associated with timers. First term is bottom. When counter reaches the bottom, which means if it will become 00, zero hacks, we can consider it reaches bottom. When counter reaches its maximum value, which is FF hex, or in decimal, we can represent it as 255, we can call it as max. The counter reaches the top when it becomes equal to the highest value in the count sequence. So highest value in the count sequence, that is either the maximum value FF hex, or it is a value from OCR register. OCR stands for Output Compare Match Register. If we load 99 hex into OCR register and counter is counting from 0 in to upward direction, whenever it will reach to 99 hex, it will match with OCR register and we can consider that counter has reached to top. If we are not using this OCR register, then 0, 0 will be bottom and FF will be max in case of down counter and up counter respectively. Once counter will reach to its maximum value, it, it will rolls over and it will start counting from 0, 0. With timer counters of AVR at Mega32 microcontroller, various clock sources are associated. Clock sources can be internal or external clock source selected by the clock select logic. With all three timer clock select logic that is available in TCCR register and there are eight different modes for clock select. Various prescalers are also used with clock. Timer overflow flag it will set whenever timer overflows. Timer overflow means if timer is counting in upward direction, whenever it will reach its FF at that time, this overflow flag will be set. After that, timer will rolls over. After looking at this terminology, let us observe the block diagram of timer 0. In timer 0, from any register, we can write count value through this data bus. We can also write this OCR value. We can observe that this count register that will keep counting based on various signal associated with that. Suppose it is counting in upward direction, every it is being compared with OCR register. Whenever TCNT content will match with OCR register, then signal will be generated that is called output control flag. The same signal is given to waveform generator for generating various waveform. Waveform generation modes are being identified by using TCCR register. Waveform is generated on output control pin that is OC pin pin. For timer 0, this pin is called OC0. Whenever this counter register that will reach to 0, that will generate bottom signal for the control logic. If it will reach to maximum, it will generate FF and that is being selected as a top signal. You can also observe two different top signals can be there which are selected through this 2 cross 1 multiplexer. If count reaches to max, in that case, if that is the top of the counter, so that is being generated and given to this first input of 2 cross 1 max. If 
instead of reaching up to max value if it is reaching up to top in that case whenever this match is occurring as a result of comparison the signal for top is generated which is the second input of this multiplexer so any one top signal is generated and given to the control logic clock t0 that is being provided to this control logic based on clock this counting happens through this tcnt register count if there is need of loading some count signal for count is given by control logic using clear signal count register can be clear and this direction signal is decide will decide whether timer counter counts in upward direction or it should count in downward direction ECCR register that is timer counter control register that is useful for deciding waveform generation mode it is also helpful in deciding which clock select need to be used or in other words we can say which clock source need to be used you can also observe over here inside clock select two cross one marks is used one input of this multiplexer that is through external clock and through edge detector clock is provided second clock source that is internal clock source and from prescaler that second clock is provided this multiplexer is helpful in selecting clock source for the control logic or in other words we can say for whole timer block control logic generate timer overflow flag over here which is useful to identify whether count is completed and based on that the next cycle of timer can be started this whole timer zero block diagram is divided into three different part in first part counter unit is there so counter unit that is made up of this count register control logic which is having top bottom and clock as an input signal count clear and direction as well as eov0 flag output signal clock select portion is also associated for selecting specific clock based on this count signal tcnt register it will increment or decrement by 1 direction will decide whether it is going to increment or decrement whenever clear signal is generated all the bits of tcnt0 will become zero or in other words we can say it will be clear clock tn that is timer counter clock top signalize that tcnt0 has reached to its maximum value and bottom signalize that tcnt0 has reached to its minimum value the second part of timer counter block is output compare unit in output compare unit ocr and tcnt register are compared for comparison 8 bit comparator is used as a result of comparison oc flag is generated as well as signal is given to the waveform generator waveform generator use 2 bit of waveform generation mode from tccr register and it also use com bit which is also two bit signal from tccr register based on top bottom focn signal from tccr register and waveform generation mode waveforms are generated and which is available on output control pin of microcontroller third block that is compare match output unit so over here through this waveform generator first d flip flop that is used for this oc n 
that is it is whenever this waveform generator will give one output of this flip flop will be one and that is being given to this buffer if it is zero then zero will be given to this buffer so again this two cross one marks it will select either from waveform generator or it is select signal from port or DTR flip flop DDR flip-flop that is used to identify whether this OC pin that is in input mode or it is in output mode. Whenever this buffer is enabled, then only this OC pin will be in output mode and then only waveform can be available on this pin. So it is necessary to enable this buffer or in other words we can say it is necessary to activate this OC pin in output mode. We can also observe that this two bits of COM, whenever both the bits are zero, that means when timer is functioning in normal mode, at that time this multiplexer that will have zero value. So in case of zero, whatever data is available on the port that will be transferred to this buffer but whenever this com bits will be in ctc mode at that time they will be i any one bit will be one so in that case this mux will be activated and this waveform generator signal will be transferred to this oc 